The real life situation I have chosen is the final round of the TV show Golden Balls. In this final round, we have two players who have two choices of whether to split or steal the jackpot earned in previous rounds. If both players pick split, they split the jackpot. If only one picks steal and the other split, the player who picked steal steals the whole jackpot. And if both pick steal, the jackpot is lost to both players. This final round is a prisoner's dilemma game. This is a game where two players are accused of a crime and have to choose whether to confess or deny. The payoff matrix for this game is shown. We assume perfect information and rationality. We now look at our real life example. We say split is equivalent to confess and still to deny. This is shown in a payoff matrix and extensive form. I have kept the utilities the same as those for Prisoner's Dilemma. This may puzzle people since in monetary terms, a player would get the same amount of money, nothing, in both the situation where they choose split, but the other player picks still, and the situation where they both play still. However, I feel still still warrants high utility, since players would feel cheated if they chose split and the other player chose still. Hence, this option has a lower utility. Just looking at the payoff matrix, we'd assume split split would be chosen. However, players make their choices simultaneously. So they do not know the choice of the other player when making their decision. In these circumstances, player one will choose still. This is because if player two picked split, still has higher utility as three is greater than two. And if they picked still, then again, for player one, steel's utility is higher as one is greater than zero. Steel is also strictly dominant for player two for the same reasons. This means steel is a strictly dominant move for both players and therefore steel steel is the Nash equilibrium even though it does not operate to efficient outcome since neither player gets any of the jackpot. Basing our splits or steel case on a prisoner's dilemma is a slight simplification. In Prisoner's Dilemma, there are circumstances when the decision is being made which do not necessarily carry over to our real world situation. These are, the player doesn't care about the outcome for the other player, the player does not know what the other player will do due to the non-repetition, and that there is no interaction between the players when deciding what to do. However, in the Golden Ball's final round, the players have a 30 second period to talk prior to decision making. This could have an impact on the selfishness and give both players an idea to what the other could do. We don't know the impact the different circumstances have, but in an essay, I would investigate this further by looking at specific cases. Overall, we have seen that our Nash equilibrium is still still which is not great to efficient since it results in the jackpot not being won, but we can see that the prisoner's dilemma could be seen as a simplification of our model due to difference in circumstances.